Here are the five levels of Notion task systems, from beginner to expert. Most people think that they're using Notion to manage tasks, but they're actually stuck at level one without realizing how much time and control they're losing. By the end of this video, you'll see exactly what level you're at and how to evolve your setup into a proper task management system. Because if you don't, you're simply not getting the most out of Notion or out of yourself. Subscribe for Notion tutorials. Let's dive in. All right, let's start here with level one. We don't have to stay here for long. This is what most people do to start their task systems. This is a horrendous way of working. A task system like this doesn't work because I don't know when I'm meant to do it, which means I'll have my tasks here, but also have to check my calendar. And now my day is being run with two workspaces instead of one. So the easy way to fix this is to go to level two. And what most people do in this is have, let's say four columns with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because now at least I can move these tasks about. I can move this task one here to Tuesday or to Saturday if I prefer. And this here is better because at least I know when I'm doing the task. But the problem here is I don't know what these tasks are working towards. What is this task one working towards? Why am I even doing this task two? So the way we fix that is with level three. And what most people do here in level three is they have their projects like this, project A, B, and C. And then they convert these here by turning them into pages. And now when they're turned into pages, I can click here on, let's say project B and add the relevant tasks inside of it. So task one, task two, these tasks here are to do with project B. And then when I want to work on project C, I can click here and add the relevant tasks for this specific project. Now this is better because at least I know what my tasks are working towards. But the problem is I can't see all of my tasks here. I have to click onto a page in order to see the tasks that are inside of it. And so to fix that, we go to level four. Now this level here is where it gets interesting. You start using the power of databases. So if you haven't used Notion databases before, they are so powerful. So I'll click here on table view and just create a new empty data source. This here will be my task list. So what I can do now is see my full list. So let's say task one, task two, three, and four. And I can use this property here called the select property. So here I could say this task one is relevant to project A. And let's say task two here is relevant to project B. And then let's say this is project A and project B. Now, if you're new to Notion databases, there's this thing called filters, sorting, and groups. This here is where it gets interesting. So for groups, we can change this to group by the select. So now I can see all of the tasks involved in project A and all of the tasks involved in project B. Now level four is a great step up from level one, but this setup here still requires a calendar. And so that's where we get to level five. So in here, we'll create a database and this here will be our task list. And in here, we can add all of our tasks and we can see these as a calendar by clicking on add property and adding a date property. And now what I can do with databases is not only apply filters, sorting and groups, but I can also see these as a different layout. So what we'll do is keep this list layout, but we'll click here on the plus and we'll view the same database instead of a table as a calendar. So now here you can see we have the table view and the calendar view. Now the tasks aren't showing up on this calendar yet. That's because these tasks here don't have a date associated. So I'll click here on the date and let's say the eighth and let's just do that for all of these tasks here. So now if I click on the calendar, I can see task one, two, three, and four sitting here on this calendar. If you don't want to see the full month and you just want to see a week like level two here, then what we can do is click here on the settings, click on layout and change this instead of seeing it as the month, just seeing the week view. So now I can see my tasks on the calendar and here on the table, I can see my list view. Now the problem here is I don't know which tasks I've completed. So what we'll do is click on the plus here and we're going to add a checkbox property and I'll just call this a space bar to make it nice and simple. So now I can tick in these tasks like that. So I know when I've completed them. So I can see here when they're complete. The problem is I don't want to see every single task I've completed in here as that will be a very, very long list. So what we'll do is add a filter and this filter will filter by the checklist. And I want to say here, I only want to see the unchecked items. Now, the cool thing about filters, sorting and groups is they only apply to the view. So on this calendar view here, I'm still seeing all of the tasks. The completed tasks are just being hidden on this view here. So what I can do is rename this table here to uncomplete. So here I'm seeing my uncomplete tasks. And then on the calendar, I'm obviously seeing all of my tasks. But how do I know whether these are complete here without having to click onto the task to see it's completed? Well, what we can do is change the settings again on this view here, and we'll change the property settings here. So I'll click here on property and I'll say, I want to see if it's been checked in or not. 
So now I can see task two is checked in and one is checked in, but I haven't done three and four yet. So now what I can do is add tasks in here and see my calendar here. Now the one problem with level five here is that we can't see which projects the tasks belong to like we had in level three. So now let's really utilize the power of Notion by creating another database. And this database will be a gallery view. And this gallery view here will house our projects. So I'll click here and let's just call this project A. And I'll change the settings here just so it's not so large and change the layout here to instead of being medium, be small and change the card preview to none. So here I can see project A and then let's add another one, project B. Now what we're going to do is use a more advanced feature, but if you're this far into the video, you're ready. So we're going to click here on relation and a relation is basically saying, I want this database to talk to another database. So we wanted to talk to this projects database. So here I can see this project showing up. If you're not seeing it in your recents, you'll simply search for it here. So I'll click here on projects and click on add relation. So now for this task three and task four here, what I can do is click and say project A and I'll select project A for this one as well. Now what I want to do is get even more advanced. When I click on project A here, I want to see all of the relevant tasks showing up here. So we're going to use an even more advanced feature called templates. Now these aren't templates like headquarters, which is my premium notion template. We download an entire system. These here are page templates and they're just specific to the databases. So what I'll do is click here on new template for this projects database. I'll click here and I'll just write here new project. And what we'll do here is write database and I'll click on table view. And this time I won't click on new empty data source. Instead, I'm actually going to search for task list because I want to see that database in here. And we're going to add a filter and this filter will work for this template. So we don't want to select a specific project. Instead, we want to select new project. Otherwise you'll have to manually change this each time. So I'll click here on new project. And now when I click away, that template has now been created. So what I'll do is click here on project A and click on new project. Automatically it will load in all of the tasks relevant to project A. So let's do that for project B. Now right now, no tasks are selected with project B, but I'll show you how they'll automatically show up in here. What I can do is click here on calendar now, click on task two here and say that is to do with project B. Click on task one and say that's also to do with project B. And now when I click on project B here, those tasks are automatically showing up. So now for level five, I can easily add new tasks. So let's call this task five. I can easily say the relevant project, let's say project B, and I can easily schedule the task. So let's say tomorrow for this one. And then I can see my task list as a calendar. So if I click here to tomorrow, their task five is sitting. And when I tick it in, it's not only updating here, it's updating in my task list and it won't show up in the uncompleted view and it's going to show up on the relevant project page so I can see task five sitting in here. And that's how to get to a level five task management system. But I just realized there's actually a level six and level six is using my template headquarters. I've built headquarters to be an insanely powerful task management system in Notion with so many more features than what we cover today. If you want to see all of that and much more then click on this video here to see a full tour. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in this video.